Congressman Kennedy said, parity means equality, and I could not agree more. It truly is one of the big civil rights issues of our time. But I want to take a little different take on it. We've heard a lot about insurance companies and making sure that people with insurance had the same, same access, the same rules, the same fairness, a better approach to appeals <laughs> um, than people with physical um, illnesses, but I want to talk about two other issues where, that I think we have to think about when we think about equality. And one is the people who don't have health insurance to begin with. And this is more of an issue today than it was a month ago in my mind because of the Supreme Court's decision. I'm delighted the Supreme Court upheld the Affordable Care Act, but they gave states the option, the option about whether they were going to cover mostly single adults up to 138% of poverty level. That's uh, people with incomes up to $15,000 a year. And every state gets to make that decision now. And every, so every state gets to make the decision about whether those very poor people with a lot, we know a lot of problems that we're talking about here today have insurance to begin with. We also have, uh, looking at the ACA, and believe me, there's a lot of great things in health reform, but I, you know a lot of those, I'm not gonna list them all, but one, there's some decisions we have to make as a state to make sure we have equality, because we've been providing care to a lot of people under our Minnesota Care program. And when we're looking at what counts as essential be benefits and how people are gonna be treated in exchange, we need to make sure we're not going backwards here in Minnesota, because if several people have said, we've been a leader here, and we've been a leader in making sure in our Medicaid and Minnesota Care program, we have good mental health benefits and we need to not back away from those. Another way we have to think about whether we have equality is not just equality, not just equality in the insurance world, but in the delivery system world as well. When I became commissioner a year and a half ago, the thing that surprised me the most, and believe me, if you follow the papers, there are a lot of things that surprised me, <laughs> but was that people with a serious and persistent mental illness live on average 25 years less than their counterparts. Not because of something directly related to substance abuse or mental illness, but because of heart disease, because of diabetes, because of those chronic care conditions. They're not getting treated fairly. So we've got to bring changes in the delivery system world as well. We've got to integrate it. And this is one where I can just say a few things we're doing a really good job of in here in Minnesota. You know, one, health care homes. We started those before they were put in the Affordable Care Act. We now have 2,000 Minnesotans who are being served by a clinic that certifies a health care home. Someone that's going to integrate that behavioral health, hopefully, and that physical health care. We've got the Diamond Project, which is a Diamond Depression Screening Collaborative in 70 clinics where we're trying to screen for depression in primary care. We've got what, I hate these acronyms, but they call it SBIRT, but basically it's screening for substance abuse in primary care, though it's been a big project of ours at the department, and we're really trying to spread it around, around the state so we can catch those problems early, intervene, and get them into treatment. Our new psychiatric consultation that we're starting next month with the Mayo Clinic so that any primary care physician in our state that's seeing a child with mental health needs, uh, but they need to maybe to talk to a child psychiatrist because they're hard to find as we know in Minnesota, can call up and within 24 hours get expert consultation and help. So we've been leading away in so many ways in here in Minnesota, but even as a leader we have such a long way to go to true parity, to true equality. And so I just want to thank you all for being people here who will be engaged with us uh, on that trip. Thank you.